Well, good morning from Dino Days. It's a bit grey outside, but this will certainly brighten us up. We've got ourselves a white rally art in the house for an Ecotech map. So today we're aiming for 200 brake horsepower. We'll have a rundown of what modifications we've got. But this is a nice one. This guy's got his own YouTube channel. He's making modifications and showing people how to do it, which is fantastic. So in the, in the uh, description below, I'll post a link to his channel. You guys can follow him as well. Let's get cracking. Well, she's made it up on the dyno, so now it's time for me to strap the car down, because safety first. After that, we're going to do a standard power run. Standard power run will give us a base figure, and then we'll upload the Ecotec license to the ECU and start tuning from there. Okay, so standard run complete. And she actually made 188 brake horsepower, Richard. It did indeed. It did indeed, didn't it? So it's, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a good one this, I think. I predict it'll be a good one. So Richard's uploaded the uh, the ECU Tech race ROM and that gives him the ability to data log and start tuning. I'm gonna go turn the big fan on and we're gonna get a second power run done, which is our, our starting point with our base file. So let's go do that. Yeah.
Mitsubishi Colt Barrier, Richard. What one? A white one, usually. Mm. They're all white, they're all white. White, red, and black, I think, were the only colours you could get on yeah, yeah. They're metallic colours. I think the black is metallic. Is it? I think so. Mm. I think it is. I thought it was a straight black. No. Could be wrong. I think it's metallic, the black. I think that's the only mm. one. You probably paid an extra 500, 600 quid for a black one. Yeah, yeah. Brand new. Um, <laughs> yeah, it backed up really well this one, didn't it? Yeah, there's not a lot to say really. I mean, obviously. Came in some, strong. Yeah, came in strong, got some good mods on it. Possibly got a bench map on it, but we can't be 100% sure. Uh, ran 188, which is obviously quite a bit for a, a mm. Colt in, in that sort of form. Uh, got an induction kit on it, got a uh, double D cat, got exhaust system on it. So, you know, the run of the mill sort of mods that you expect, got front mount on it. Um, like I say, around 188 stock. Uh, we mapped up using about two, attack, Yeah, to about know, 210. To about 210. Uh, so yeah, massive increases, you know, throughout the rev range. I'm sure, the customer will be happy. Requested some pops and bangs, so we've done that. On so over, we got some flames, didn't we? Over, over running on throttle, uh, you know, so it's on throttle response, so it's not doing it all the time. It's obviously input from the driver to make it pop and bang. So, you know, people really like that as well. Um, yeah, well, good. Should we have a look at the graph? Yeah, come on, let's have a look at the graph. Okay, so as we always say, red line is as she came in, blue line is as she leaves. There's plenty of power that's been had there over the rev range. Uh, extended the rev uh, limiter out a little bit. Um, like we said, we're making some pops and bangs and some flames, which is really nice. It, it, it suits these cars, I think. Big flames coming out of the back of them. This one's got a particular cannon on the back of it. Uh, we finished the day on 209 brake horsepower with 222 foot-pound of torque. As you can see, it came in on 188 and 188. Um, yeah, some considerable gains. I'm sure. I'm sure the customer's going to love that. Transform that car. In the words of Nicky Gower, that will feel like night and day. That. So um, yeah, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And I will drop you a link to this uh, to this car's uh, YouTube channel because he does his modifications himself. He's uh, he's got some good videos out there. I like his format and the way he does things. So in the in the comments below, I shall uh, drop you a link to this one, and we'll see you on the next one. Uh, Rich. See you on the next one, won't we, mate? We will indeed.